damn it, I just wish baseball would be back on TV. I hope it's on back uh, soon. You know, they're talking about just starting the league and uh, having it and uh, limiting it to, to three states right now. Who knows? But, uh, you know, one of... Um, one of the the pictures, and I like to look at pictures. I, you know, baseball by far to me is probably my favorite sport. Um, one of um, uh, the the players um, that I look at is um, you know Hansel Robles. Hansel Robles uh, over there in a the bullpen. Um, with the Angels, kind of a uh, a case where right now, um, he's kind of, he's just being claimed by the Angels. Uh, he, he's been enjoying the best run of his career. Over 109 innings there. He's worked to a 2.64 ERA, 2.99 FIP, with averages of 9.2 strikeouts, 2.6 walks, and 0.7 home runs allowed per nine innings pitched. In 2019, Robles led the Angels with 23 saves. Is this the closer of the future for the Angels? Um, you know, one of the new things that changes in his style is the fact that he is changing a changeup right now. He's throwing a changeup. Prior to 2019, he's only thrown the changeup 115 times. He threw 262 changeups last year alone. That changeup right now, he added into his uh, approach. Uh, you have his fastball velocity spike to 97 miles an hour. So... Robles right now controlled through the 2021 season. Uh, Anthony Rendon on that on that Angels team, Shohei Otani, Dylan Bundy, Julio Torrejon. Yeah, uh, the rotation right there. You add them in. So uh, and that changeup is pretty nasty. Pretty nasty. Listen. His best year prior, Robles, was 2015 2016. 131 innings, 355 ERA. Reliable bullpen piece. But this is probably uh, the best part. Um, the best time that Robles is having in his career with the Angels. Maybe the change in the league. Um, it's helped him. So now. And I think Epler too has kind of assembled a good bullpen without spending much in prospects or money. Uh, Penn, you might say, was good last season until it fell off exhausted by injuries to the rotation. Now, this has been, you know, Robles, look at that, you know, has become kind of the dominant model in finding pitchers on the cheap the past few years. Look for a youngish type of guy who is in love with his fastball, but has a secondary that is pretty good and doesn't, you know, throw enough. Fastball changeup right there. Bring him in, make him throw the secondary more, and presto, you have a brand new pitcher. Maybe that's all that needed to be done. You know, in little leagues, all they teach you, just throw your fastball, fastball, fastball. And you don't even work on, you know, your secondary pitches. You know, it, it, it's... I think this is a, a new, has opened up the door for um, 
Robles. Is this another example of the Mets' recent pitching? You know, their pitching, you know, pitch coaching failure to develop its talent. Outside of DeGrom, who handles himself, all other pitchers uh, with all that talent there. Syndergaard, Mats, Gazelman, Diaz, Familia, along with a plethora of minor leaguers, have trended in the wrong direction. How many years has every preseason report said something to the effect uh, the Mets have one of the best overall pitching staffs in baseball? You hear it all the time. Hear it all the time. AC closer material. And that's going to be to be determined. But he has guts, though, and goes right after hitters. That's one thing that I could tell you, being watching him pitching here in New York. You know, um, you know. Listen, those his hesitation. Wind up and quick pitch delivery could be things of you know beauty. Yeah, you know, however, I would guess that opposing players and their fans are not impressed. Maybe hitters feel that Robles is you know quick pitch is unsafe, and they may not be ready when his 96 mile an hour heater comes whizzing across the plate. Maybe that's part of it all. But uh, I'm going to be interested uh, to see what will happen of Hansel Robles. This year, when the baseball season does start, hope all is well.